Let us now discuss the second model from ratio and proportions where we are supposed to find out the difference between the shares of two persons from the given ratio. The question here is a profit of rupees 8000 is distributed among A, B and C in the ratio 5 is to 2 is to 3 respectively. What is the difference between the shares of A and B? So from the given ratio and the total amount, we first need to find out the individual shares of each of these persons and then we need to take the difference between the shares of A and B. So as given here, the total amount is rupees 8000 and the ratio among A, B and C should be 5 is to 2 is to 3. Now the general way of solving the question would be finding out the individual shares of A and B and then taking the difference. That is A's share will be equal to 5 parts out of 5 plus 2, 7 plus 3, 10. 5 parts out of 10 parts which should be multiplied by the total value of 8000 and this comes out to be 4000 rupees. And B's share will be equal to 2 parts out of 10 parts which again multiplied by 8000 will give 1600 as the answer and from these two we can say that the difference of their shares A and B should be equal to 4000 minus 1600 which comes out to be 2400 rupees. So friends this is the conventional way of solving the problem but then this question can be simplified without writing these many steps in a few seconds. The simple idea here is we know that the total number of parts among A, B and C is 5 plus 2 plus 3 that is nothing but total 10 parts. So when 8000 is divided into 10 equal parts we can say that each part will be equal to 800 rupees because 8000 divided by 10 will be equal to 800 and from the ratio we know that A will get 5 parts whereas B gets only 2 parts. So the difference between A and B that is 5 parts minus 2 parts should be equal to 3 parts. So we can directly say that the difference of A and B should be equal to 3 parts. That is nothing but 3 into 800 as each part is equal to 800. So the total difference will come out to be 2400 rupees. So without taking the individual values and then taking the difference we can simply get the answer by finding out the value of each part and then taking the difference between the number of parts of the two persons.